Listen to the placenta, providing a layer of protection for your baby. Lauren Zakalik has more. Sarah Hollingshead was already in quarantine due to a COVID exposure when it happened. There's a day that my husband picked up my daughter from daycare and brought her home and I couldn't smell her head and I was like, oh no, I can't smell anything. A COVID diagnosis can be scary on its own, but Hollings had had an extra layer of anxiety. The assistant principal is seven and a half months pregnant with her second child. You just hope like, is my baby going to be okay? There's now new reassuring insight for recovering expectant mothers like Hollingshead. What this is showing is that your body is doing what it has to to protect the babies. Dr. Yave Jenny Yang is the lead senior author on a study just published in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology. It strongly suggests pregnant women who recover from COVID pass their antibodies on to their babies. The level of antibodies or this protection is pretty much parallel or mimics each other in the mother and the child. So the higher the antibody amount in the mother, the higher in the babies. Both Dr. Yang and Bedford fertility specialist Dr. Kevin Duty say this information bodes well for vaccinations in pregnant women and even breast milk. But we would expect since the vaccines work through the same mechanism, the production of antibodies that we that we might see a similar thing. It's yet unclear how long the protection lasts, but for Hollingshead and her baby, who are both doing just fine, the news is a relief. And so that would be something, you know, a positive to come from all of this. Um, it's definitely, you know, keeping my new baby safe. In Tarrant County, I'm Lauren Zakalik.